Yes, well, that announcement of a willingness to share power seems to be, for the moment, the only bone that Lukashenko is prepared to throw to the opposition. And it's really a pretty small bone, a vague promise of changing the constitution. We could presume maybe it means giving more power to the parliament. But what the demonstrators are asking for is for him to resign and for new elections to be held. And he has consistently ruled that out. And today he went to visit a, a large factory in Minsk. And uh, we were told that the workers who were gathered there to hear him speak had been selected as workers who were Lukashenko supporters. But apparently that didn't work because not very long into his speech, they started chanting, resign, 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 to which Lukashenko responded by saying, aha, uh -huh, so you think that the elections were unfair and you'd like to hold new elections with you. I'm quoting him here. And the crowd says yes. And he says, well, I'll answer your question. We will, have new, we will not have any new elections um, unless you kill me. So I don't think you could get any more resolute than that. And Gulliver, this comes on the same day that Zvetlana Tikhonovsky, of course, has said she is ready to assume control of Belarus. Uh, are her supporters confident she will still be able to achieve that? Well, her supporters don't need to have confidence in her to do anything more than what she has consistently promised to do throughout this election campaign, ever since she ran in the place of her husband, Sergei Tikhonovsky, when he was jailed. From the beginning, she has been saying that she only wants to be an interim president in order to organise free new presidential elections. And now from exile in Lithuania, she's saying that once again in this, again, very calm message, calling on Belarusians to keep on abiding by the law and saying how much she admires the courage of those who have been taking part in these demonstrations. She also mentioned the two protesters who have been killed, saying that uh, we must absolutely name streets after them. She also stressed that uh, Belarus's sovereignty was absolutely paramount and that that had to be defended at all costs. This is, of course, in the context of Alexander Lukashenko openly saying that he's called on the Kremlin uh, to help and uh, claims to have received assurances from Russia that Russia would intervene if that became necessary. Tikhonovsky, of course, talking uh, from exile in Lithuania. Just quickly to wrap up, uh, Gulliver, it, it was expected that mass walkouts would continue this Monday after the weekend. Uh, is that the case? Yes, they absolutely are in very large factories all over the country. It seems like the best known factories in Belarus are on strike or at least partially on strike. The pictures we see are of workers demonstrating in front of the factories. It's not clear whether that means that all work going on inside has stopped. But certainly um, workers at these factories are in very, very large numbers coming out to express their support for the protest movement.